The Spanish water dog breed emerged in the Iberian Peninsula in Europe where they worked as herding dogs. Today, people know this medium-sized dog as an intelligent and loyal companion. Although these are purebred dogs, you may still find them in care of shelters and rescue groups, so remember to adopt. Spanish water dogs are happy, leading a very active lifestyle. They have a history of working as livestock herders, so it's important to provide a lot of outdoor exercise time for the breed, along with constantly challenging them mentally so that they stay alert and do not become bored. They're capable of forming very close bonds with the humans they live with and constantly like to be around people. This is not a breed that does well with people who are away from their home for long periods of the day. Most Spanish water dogs stand typically between 15 and 20 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh between 30 to 50 pounds. Females of this breed are often visibly smaller than the male. However, some dogs can be smaller or larger than average for their breed. If you talk to anyone with a Spanish water dog, you'll often hear them mention how the breed seems to be an ideal mix of playful and affectionate. As a breed with herding heritage, the Spanish water dogs are super smart and love to figure out the solution to challenges, so you'll definitely want to add some interactive toys and training exercises to daily play sessions. Balancing out the breed's natural energy and upbeat attitude, Spanish water dogs also form very strong and social bonds with humans they live with. Expect your dog to always want to follow people around and be at the center of any household action. The breed also does well with children and will often seem like your child's new best friend. Just remember, the Spanish water dogs are very social creatures, so be wary of leaving your dog alone for long stretches of the day. Before we continue, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as it would mean a lot. Thanks. Spanish water dogs are generally healthy, while our calories are prone to certain health conditions. While not all of them will get any or all of these diseases, it's important to be aware of them if you're considering this breed. If you're buying a puppy, find a good breeder who will show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents. Health clearances prove that the dog's been tested for and cleared of a particular condition. Because some health problems don't appear until a dog reaches full maturity, health clearances aren't issued to dogs younger than 2 years old. Look for a breeder who doesn't breed her dogs until they're 2 or even 3 years old. When it comes to caring for the Spanish water dog, it's important to provide a good amount of outdoor time and exercise. Aim for at least 1 hour of exercise and playtime every day and be sure to include training routines in a mix so that the dog stays mentally stimulated and alert. Other needs for the Spanish water dog include dental hygiene and nail care. Brush your dog's teeth at least two to three times a week to remove tartar buildup and the accompanying bacteria. Daily brushing is better. An ideal Spanish water dog diet should be formulated for a medium-sized breed with high energy levels. They have a tendency to gain weight if they're not given a high level of daily exercise. Keep your dog in good shape by measuring his food and feeding him twice a day rather than leaving the food out all the time. As with all dogs, the Spanish water dog's dietary needs will change from puppyhood to adulthood and will continue to change well into their senior years. You should ask your veterinarian for recommendations about your Spanish water dog's diet as there is far too much variation among individual dogs, including weight, energy and health, to make a specific recommendation. The Spanish water dog usually comes with a coat that is some combination of beige, black, white and brown. The coat is normally described as being woolly and curly. Interestingly, it's usually advised to avoid brushing the Spanish water dog's coat, although a yearly sharing of the coat can be considered. The Spanish water dog fares well in many different types of climate. During the warmer summer months, make sure that your dog has access to enough fresh water to stay cool and hydrated. When it comes to the colder parts of the year, you can consider adding the dog jacket to your Spanish water dog's wardrobe. This dog is usually considered to be a good dog for a household that includes small children. Make sure that early socialization takes place and that boundaries are properly set on both sides and always supervise play sessions that involve very young children. When it comes to other household pets, the Spanish water dog can live alongside other animals as long as proper socialization takes place. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this breed. Always make sure to reward your Spanish water dog for good behavior and adhere to a proper training regimen. Alright guys, what do you think about the Spanish water dog? Tell me down in the comments.